tonight on Out and About. These Bloody Marys have just gone crazy. It's created such a buzz around the restaurant. We're probably one of the largest gift stores, 20-some thousand square feet of gifts under one roof. Welcome to the Butcher's Market. We're a full-service butcher shop and specialty grocer. Come on down to Ivy Mary Water Bluegrass in downtown Raleigh. It's going to be a whole lot of fun. It's a board game cafe. So the same southern comfort foods that we do at Relish, but you get to play games while you eat it. Go out and about. Welcome to the kitchen table at Relish Board Game Cafe. So the kitchen table at Relish is a sister restaurant to Relish Craft Kitchen and Bourbon Bar, and its twist is it's a board game cafe. So the same southern comfort foods that we do at Relish, but you get to play games while you eat it. Board game cafes have been um, popular in Europe and Canada for a long time. They've been hitting the United States probably for the last five years. The kitchen table was just the second one in North Carolina. It is something that is growing in popularity to replace some of the time that we spend on devices and phones. We put them down and you can sit and you can reconnect with people over board games. So when you first come into the kitchen table, you'll be greeted by us and the first person to your table may be a game tender or your server. Um, the game tender will explain what's going on because a lot of people aren't familiar with it. And we'll bring you a choice of games in case you don't know what you want to play. Or they'll just talk to you about what sort of games you like to play and they can go back and bring something in the line of what you like to play or something new that you've never heard of. They are not the same games that we grew up playing, like Monopoly and Clue and all that sort of thing. They are of a more European style where it is not so much reliant on luck, but it is skill and players working cooperatively and it, it brings people together. Here at the kitchen table, the food is a good reason to come even without playing games. We do lunch and dinner, and we are open on the weekends for brunch. On Saturday and Sunday, we have a different menu during the day. It's very much a sister of Relish. It is the same Southern comfort with a little, little twist, something different. Over here at the kitchen table, we're able to be a little more hyper-focused on local, but it's sandwich-centric, um, and we've added a few entrees on. We have lots of um, items on there to share, including um, charcuterie and cheese boards where you can select your own. One thing that we're selling a lot of is a honey goat cheese grilled cheese sandwich. So it is honey goat cheese grilled apples, pecans on a grilled cheese. And it is hits that vegetarian note, but also who knew you wanted a sweet grilled cheese sandwich. We have a um, short ribs bowl. We've added on our new short rib sandwich, which is short ribs cooked low and slow with red wine and onions and topped with cheese and pickled onions and served with that same jus from cooking it on the side to dip into. Relish next door is very well known for our shrimp and grits, but it's a plain shrimp and grits. So we're using the same grits, but this one also has a Cajun andouille gravy on it. So over here, we're excited to be able to do something different with everything that we've grown to love. When I walk in here and it's busy, I just adore seeing all the different tables connecting and having fun together over board games. I'm a hobbyist myself, so it just makes me happy to see other people enjoying what I think is fun too. We are located at the corner of Creedmoor and Millbrook Roads, just a block up from Crabtree Valley Mall in the Creedmoor Crossing Shopping Center. Our menu is available online at kitchentableraleigh.com. Passengers, welcome to Iceland. Why should people come to Iceland? We get this question a lot. Iceland is, as you know, a small nation. Icelanders, we are only 350,000 people, but we are very nice. Uh, many people think, think, think also that Iceland is uh, as beautiful as any other place you can go to. We, of course, love our, our land and we love our own nation. And overall, I think it's just uh, a very relaxing and at the same time, um, a visit full of, of uh, exercise or, or, or excitement. This is from the waterfall. We have waterfalls all over the place. There are 
very nice. Uh, the nature in general, I, I love to just to roam around and you stop somewhere in your car, go out for a little hike. You can hike everywhere. Caves are that old that we don't have any written history about them. All the land is more or less open for everyone. So you can go and uh, take a look at the horses and the sheep, sit down and listen to the birds in the summer. So, I mean, overall, I cannot say that there's any favorite place apart from sort of We're here at Blind Pelican in Holly Springs to find out why they are so popular on social media. You guys have gone viral. What is going on? What do you have going here? It's been very exciting. I have to say our bartenders are definitely the brains behind the operation, but these Bloody Marys have just gone crazy. It's created such a buzz around the restaurant. They're giant. Like if you haven't seen them, they are, I mean, they're all over social media. These amazing, they're crazy, they're big, they've got stuff coming, grilled cheese and, and steak and all kinds of things coming out of them. Tell me the inspiration behind these amazing cocktails. Well, it started, uh, you know, we wanted to do a, a good Bloody Mary. We were going to do a Bloody Mary bar before COVID, but that kind of put a halt to things. So our bartender said, well, we'll just, we'll do grilled cheese and bacon and add shrimp. And uh, our bartender, Josh, said, why don't we add a lobster tail? And my husband said, that's crazy. Nobody will ever buy one of those. And that weekend, we sold out of lobster tails. And then a customer came in and wanted one and we didn't have any lobster to put in it. So our bartender, Courtney, said, well, we could do crab legs. And it just blew up from there. And now we add steak and we've had people add cheese steaks and cheeseburgers and chicken wings and onion rings. It's gone, it's crazy. It's a lot of fun. So it's been an evolution. We kind of had to figure things out. Nobody's doing anything like this and there's no like manual on how to do this. So we've actually had to redesign our bar around the construction of these. It's a full pound of Alaskan snow crab legs, main lobster tail, a six ounce filet mignon, grilled cheese, oysters, shrimp, bacon, and then veggies. And then after that, like the options are endless. You can add whatever you want pretty much. So this is actually my favorite part. Um, as the guests are sitting there, they see me assembling it and it's kind of, to me, it's not as pretty as this side. So, so when I turn it around, that's when you get that dramatic reaction. And then that's when all the cameras are snapping away and taking pictures of it and going to social media. So what else is on the menu besides the, the cocktails? We're pretty well known for our crab cakes. Um, they have no filler. It's basically just some egg holding it together. A lot of, lot of crab. Uh, we've got peel and eat shrimp, crab legs, our shrimp and grits. We have a lobster scallop pasta. A good a sea lot of, fresh yeah, seafood. Absolutely. <laughs> we want people to come in and feel like they've escaped for an hour or so, like they're at the beach. Stop by and experience these amazing creations for yourself. Check out more about the Blind Pelican at blindpelicanseafood.com. The Greensboro Science Center is an amazing way to spend the day. We've got an aquarium, we've got a museum, we've got a zoo, and we have Sky Wild, which is our treetop adventure course. Here at Sky Wild, you can actually act like an animal, go wild up in the trees, and mimic their adaptations. It's much more than a zip line, so it's a great way to have some physical activity, and of course your zip lines at the end are sort of like your reward. There's so much to do here at the Greensboro Science Center. It's a very awesome way to spend the day. Check out our website, greensboroscience.org, and see all the things you can do here. Welcome to the Shop Sol Maine. The Shop Sol Maine is a large gift store in downtown Fuquay, and we feel like we have something for everyone. We often say that every day is a gift at Shop Sol Maine. You come in thinking it's about a 5,000 square foot store, and as you walk to the back, it opens up. It's almost like a, a gift box. It opens up into so much more, and that's what people don't expect. And truthfully, we're probably one of the largest gift stores in Wake County right now. 20-some thousand square feet of, of gifts under one roof. If you're searching for a gift for someone, we want to be able to help you find that. You can expect the unexpected. You know, come in and find that something that different that you're not seeing everywhere. We try to have something special for everybody that you're not going to find just anywhere. We work hard at doing that. We carry um, drinkware from Brewmate to Corksicle. We carry platters, happy everything with all the attachments were really cool. You can come in and 
you buy one plate and later on you come back and buy more and more and more attachments. Another brand that we carry that's very popular is the Simply Southern clothing brand. Right now most everybody's coming in looking Hey Dudes. Hey Dudes is a men and ladies shoe that is just very comfortable, very trendy. We got them for kids, we got them for mom, we got them for dad. People just love them, they're real lightweight. You can wear them almost anywhere. We have Cousin Couture, which is a young and trendy boutique. We have a baby section that we offer um, baby shower items, um, things you might want to buy your expecting mom or um, gender reveal parties. We have men's outdoor stuff. I mean, everything from Beach and Barn to Hub to new brands that we're bringing in daily that you're not going to see everywhere. You almost got to try to think like a customer and to be sure that you got what they're, they're needing, uh, being sure we're on the cutting edge of, of what's coming now. A lot of people realize that every day is a gift, so when they come to look for that special gift, they, they want to be sure they're buying the right thing for the right person. We want everyone to feel welcome and warm, uh, have a, a fun, pleasant experience here. We, we try to keep it fun. They can expect great customer service. They can um, expect personal service um, somewhere where we care who they're here to shop for. We want everybody that comes through to have a good time, a good experience. Um, we like it when people take day trips and just come down and enjoy downtown Fuqua as a whole. Not just the shops on Main, but everything that downtown has to offer. I mean, you can eat here, you can shop here. Um, there's a lot of things to do when you, when you make a day trip here. We'd love for everyone to come in and, and shop and, and take a look and see what we're all about and hope they have a, a great experience while they're here. You can get more information by finding us on Facebook, you can find us on Instagram, and find our website at somfv.com. We are so excited and look forward to helping you. The International Auto Expo, it's September 9th through the 11th. This year is really exciting because we're going to be showcasing electric cars. So the theme of this year is charging into the future. So you can kind of see a little bit behind me, um, we're going to be showcasing a variety of different electric cars alongside gas powered cars. Electric is exciting because it seems like it's going to be the future. Um, we're seeing chargers being put up everywhere in our area, especially Wake County. So this is kind of what the cars are going towards. So. We're so happy to be showcasing electric cars this year. We'll have cars from all of your favorite brands, everything from Chevrolet to Rolls-Royce. We want people to have a one-stop shop there, able to come in, look at all the different car brands, all in one set place, so you're not driving from dealer to dealer. Everything is all there, you can view the cars, see what they have to offer, all the latest technology. The show is going to be September 9th to the 11th, and that is going to be at the Raleigh Convention Center. So you can get tickets from going to any dealership that is a Wake County Auto Association dealer. They will be giving away free tickets, or you can go online to ncautoexpo.com and purchase tickets online, and tickets are available at the door. Welcome to the Butcher's Market. We're a full service butcher shop and specialty grocer. One of our goals at the Butcher's Market was to provide our guests with excellent, delicious products and in a fun, convenient shopping experience. Here at the Butcher's Market, one of the things we're known best for is our premium cuts of beef. We only carry USDA top choice, a prime, grass-fed, and dry-aged. Our legendary marinated steak, chicken, and vegetables. Uh, if you've heard of the Butcher's Market, you've definitely heard about our marinated meats. Our seafood is delivered fresh daily, and I will lay claim to having the absolute best salmon in town. You've got to give it a try. One of our specialty items is we do cure and smoke our own bacon. We've got about 10 different profiles, including a beef bacon for those that don't eat pork. We use North Carolina Cheshire Heritage pork bellies. Put them in a cure for seven days, take them out of the cure, and we smoke them in uh, our Raleigh location. Sausages uh, are all handmade weekly um, in all of our locations. So one of the things we specialize in here at the Butcher's Market is our line of prepared foods. Our pimento cheese, chicken salad, our grab-and-go uh, 
entrees, our oven ready entrees. Um, so we're really, when you think of you know the butcher shop, you usually just think of a meat case, but here at the butcher's market, we're trying to be so much more. Our team here is, is here to help you. You know, so often nowadays people are intimidated about trying to put together a dinner. Our team is here to help you. Ask them questions. Our website's got some recipes and cooking instructions on it. But really what we're trying to do here is make dinner done easy for you at the butcher's market. We certainly just would not be here uh, without our awesome customers, but there's no way we could do this without our amazing staff. You know, it's a place where they want to come to work every day uh, and put on a smile and take good care of our customers. So we source as many products uh, as possible local. They're handmade with good local quality ingredients and we're very proud to, uh, to be kind of a, an incubator. People are starting out with a, you know, got to be NC product. We're one of the first places to, to be able to carry it for them. So we're, we're proud of that here. We we're only going to do it the best way possible here because I can't imagine doing it any other, other way. There's, there's no shortcuts taken here at the Butcher's Market. You're just getting off work, you're wondering what you're going to do for dinner. Stop on by the Butcher's Market. Um, we've made it so easy for you. Come on in. We're in and out with dinner in 10-15 minutes. From all of us here at the Butcher's Market, please come on down. We look forward to seeing you. Team up with WREL for the St. Jude Walk Run Triangle 5K. This inspiring, family-friendly event unites people across the nation behind the life-saving mission of St. Jude, finding cures, saving children. Just grab a group of friends or family and register at stjude.org slash walk triangle. Join me on September 24th at Frontier RTP and help us in the fight to end childhood cancer. There are bands and musicians coming from all around the world convening in Raleigh to share their knowledge, to gain professional insights, and just to pick together. Hey everybody, my name is Trey Wellington and I want to invite you to the IBMA World of Bluegrass in downtown Raleigh. Hope to see you there. Banjo player Trey Wellington is just one of the hundreds of musicians performing at IBMA Bluegrass Live powered by PNC. It's happening downtown Raleigh September 30th and October 1st. We are partnering with the International Bluegrass Music Association. So there are bands and musicians and professional musicians coming from all around the world convening in Raleigh to share their knowledge, to gain professional insights, and just to pick together. The really exciting thing about the festival this year is that it's free and open to the public. So even some of the back seats in Red Hat Amphitheater are free and available to folks to just stroll in and check out some of the great music. So come on down to IBM World of Bluegrass in downtown Raleigh. It's going to be a whole lot of fun. There's going to be a lot of great music. I hope to see you there.